Hey, it's Erin. Today we're gonna be doing a dumbbell only total body workout. This workout is awesome if you're training at home and have access to limited equipment, but even if you train at a gym, don't write off total body training. See, a lot of us are used to doing specific splits each week. So we're targeting very small muscle groups with every single workout. Thus, we might only hit those muscles once or twice a week. With total body training, you can hit those same muscle groups three to five times per week, which can increase muscle protein synthesis, which can lead to more gains over time. Keep in mind with total body training, the overall volume for each muscle group is a lot lower, but you're able to give each set 100% because the volume is lower. So if you need to mix up your routine, give total body training a try. Why not try it with this workout? Without further ado, let's get in there and train. Let's get this workout started with dumbbell push jerk. We're using a single dumbbell, of course. This exercise is awesome as a first exercise because it's gonna help you improve your power. It's also a strength move. Make sure you're good and warmed up for this. And I like to choose a weight that is going to be a little bit tough for me to press just strictly and I'm going to use my entire body to help explode upward with that dumbbell. So you're cheating just a little bit, but it's strategic cheating. And really control the dumbbell on the way down. So elbow underneath the weight. You're gonna rest the weight just on the front of your shoulder, explode upward. Make sure you're performing this exercise evenly on both sides. So check your form in the mirror or record yourself doing this. a power move so you want to keep your weight distributed across the balls of your feet. Keep that core tight. Really focus on slowly lowering that dumbbell. Next exercise is a combo exercise. This is a dumbbell thruster but we're going to use strict form here. So I want you to think about melding these two movements into one nice smooth movement. So feet are a little wider than shoulder width. Weight is through the heels. As you squat down, think about keeping your knees out, pushing your knees out on the way up, back flat. And as you come up out of that squat, think about starting your press. And again, you wanna keep your elbows underneath those weights Keep your chest up, keep your core tight. Nice and controlled movements. Be very precise here. If you were doing this for cardio, you could go a little bit more ham, but we're using this as a strength move, so be disciplined. Let's move on to our first superset. This is an RDL to an upright row. Now with this RDL variation, I want you to keep your feet at about hip width, push your weight through the heels, and you can even roll your weight to the outside of your foot. Hold the dumbbells on the sides of your legs. It's gonna really help recruit those glutes and hamstrings. I like to keep my chin tucked, slight round to the upper back, and this is gonna help accentuate that glute contraction. Tempo nice and slow, and pay attention to your form here. You want your back to stay nice and flat. Stop the range of motion before your back starts to round and you'll ensure that you keep the tension on those hamstrings and glutes rather than your lower back. Since this is a hip hinge, try to think about keeping your elbows, or try to think about keeping your knees rather stationary. Moving into the upright row, we're using an overhand grip with a slight angle so we've got about a 45 degree angle. And as I'm pulling up, I'm pulling the dumbbells out too. This can really help alleviate some strain on the wrist in addition to keeping the wrist nice and straight. So here we go with the pulling movement. Think about from your elbow to your hand as merely part of the weight. So you just think about drawing your elbows up to the sky and keeping those traps quiet. Moving on to our next superset, we're gonna be doing goblet squats to a staggered stance row. 
Now with a goblet squat, you're gonna place the butt of your hand underneath the top part of the dumbbell. And then try to get your elbows underneath the weight. This is gonna really help brace against the weight. Counterbalance against this dumbbell. So this is gonna help really encourage proper form. It's gonna help keep your upper body nice and tall. So feet are gonna be a little bit wider than shoulder width and squat to as low as you can. Ideally just about parallel, nice and slow. And focus on pushing your weight evenly through both sides. I'm gonna grab a little bit lighter weight here getting into that stagger stance row. Sort of like a quarter lunge position, resting my arm on the same side of the knee and pulling this dumbbell straight up. Upper body should be at about a 45 degree angle. And just like the upright row, I like to think about pulling through the elbow and almost ignoring the lower half of the arm. Upper body stays square to the ground. Now as you switch sides, really pay attention to where those feet are. I want you to get in exactly the same position you were on the other side. Keeping that neutral grip, pulling through the elbow, keeping the back flat, chest up, exhale on the way up. really focus on making that mind muscle connection with your back. I think it's easier sometimes with the single arm exercises to really focus on feeling that burn. Our last exercise is a bit more of a challenge than it may appear. So you're going to do an isometric glute bridge with a fly. This is a decline fly. Focus on squeezing those glutes, keeping that plank position, keeping a slight bend to the elbows. Now that range of motion, of course, is going to stop when your upper arm reaches the turf. I wanna think about almost hugging a barrel, and that's a pretty good uh, visual for how to keep your arms. Palms are facing each other, no momentum whatsoever. Feet are about shoulder width apart. Weight is pushed through the heels and I'm consciously trying to push my heels away. So keeping that tension, keeping the tension on the chest. So not spending a lot of time at the top part of the rep and nice and slow on the way down. If you're looking for full workout programs, whether it's for the home or for gym, check out erinsternfitness.com. I even have free workouts on there for you guys. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and don't forget to click that little bell. You'll be the first to know whenever a new video comes out. And if there's something specific that you'd really like to see, please comment below and we'll make it happen. Thanks for watching. Until next time, train hard y'all.